Hey YouTube, the next step in the process, what we do is we need, we've got our K, we've got our heart, and we've got our M. Okay, we, now what we want to do is we want to um, put it in a mould, and then we're going to uh, put some plastic in. Alright, so what we'll do, got our mould, it's a little bit big for what I wanted, but good enough sorry get our mold release Give it a spray now what we want to do is we want to put it in uh, so the good sides actually facing down okay the heart facing down actually the heart doesn't really matter which way it does but the back side is a little bit icky, and the front side is nice and smooth. Put that down, and we put the M, the smooth side facing down. Alright, spread out a bit. Probably move a little bit because of the, the um, filler we're going to use. What we're going to use today are our little lids. All I want to do is I want to just make a coverage across the the, the whole entire um, uh, mold. So all I need to do is dig out all my little lids. Once I do this, I'll be back. Okay, we've got the first layer uh, of lids in. Okay, so we've got our M, heart and the K, pretty much where I want it. Did probably move a slight little bit because the tray is rather slippery with the mold release sprayed in there. So, um, to really to get a better better K heart and M, what you should do is you should put a chamfer on it. Just basically like this. If you put a chamfer like that all the way around, and when you put it in the mould like that, and since there's a chamfer on it and the bigger bits at the bottom, It'll have a tendency to go straight down. Currently what I've got uh, with my K in that is that it it's it's um, has perpendicular sides. Like what happens is when it melts, when it melts, it'll probably want to slump over to the left and the right. So what you want to ideally do is have the um, have the letters with a sh slight chamfer on them. That way, you'll have um, a lot clearer letter at the end. Oh anyway, no, just for effect, I'm just going to leave it how it is with straight sides, and we'll have a look. Oh anyway, no, first round. It's going to go in the oven now. And we'll see how that goes. Here's a quick da update on the letters. Okay. Okay. So, majority of the um, the lids are melted. These things. And it's basically flowed all the way around, except for a few bits over here. But we've got all the air, air pockets. They will go. As it's as it uh, as it's in the oven. Basically, what we'll do is we'll put these other ones in. Just 
spread it around a bit. All right. What we'll do is put that in the oven. We'll put it back in the oven, I should say. The container is a little bit bigger than what I would have preferred, but so I'm not going to put as much um, uh, white stuff in, but we'll just see. So yeah, okay, this will be the last update before it's finished. Okay, um, I'll be going to bed at the moment. Basically, what what will happen is I'll put it in the oven and it'll. Um, I've got the timer set, and what will happen is the bubbles should rise to the surface. Okay, we've got enough coverage over the top. Looks like they're okay from this side anyway, because you can see through it. it looks like the K's um, hasn't hasn't spread. Um, the heart looks pretty good, and the M looks pretty good as well. So what we'll do is we'll just um, put it back in the oven and just let it let the bubbles uh, come to the top. Other than that, it looks looks pretty good. I'll give you a close up. Oops, sorry, the finger. Right. So then looks pretty good. The heart also looks good has clean lines on it and same with the K K looks pretty good to me you can only see when we turn it over there we go and all my mess in the background Anyway, I'll show you tomorrow. Finished article when it comes out of the oven. Well, it will be out of the oven. It'll come out and it'll be all done tomorrow. See so, ya. Yeah. Hey, it's been a couple of days later since I've first um, done it. Doing a, it looks pretty good. There are a couple of couple issues. One issue is with the the M here. It hasn't quite worked out as what I I thought it had. Would have. Uh, the heart's all right. It's not too bad. The M. The M has a couple of little issues here and there. Overall, that's, that actually worked out quite well. Um, the only issue with it is it's actually warped a bit, but that's understandable because it was only a thin, thin layer. All right, you can actually um, take the warp out if you were going to screw it into something, so it's not a problem. Uh, the only other issue is I get the burning effect on the back. I still haven't figured out how to um, fix that yet. I'm thinking I might need to put a, a, a sheet over the top or a sheet of um, like the barbecue insulating um, um, plastic that I'd used um, a few videos ago. this use this maybe you cut some of this and just put this over the top so this might stop the um, I'm not sure the heat or the the air actually oxidizing the plastic is that is that what's happening I'm not sure or maybe I need to uh, get a plate and put it over the top or get a bit of glass and put it over the top yeah like I said I'm not not exactly sure but it's 
basically in all the melts that I do, it it seems to be prevalent. Now, now, if it's actually in a um, injection molding machine, does it does the have it in there? I don't know. I don't think so. Yes, maybe it's the hot air in the oven. Does it? I don't know. But anyway, so normally, normally what you do is you with this, I'd make it uh, make it thicker. That way, it wouldn't actually warp. Or what you do is actually put some sort of weight in there, and it actually sort of weight it down. But yeah, so the concept worked. If you have, oh, let's see. Getting the right light. Just there. If you have a close look here, you'll see that's where I actually laid the um, the lids down. It's actually got the um, slight impression on that. Would it, would we able would we be able to fix it if I just put it back in the oven? And give it another go. Possibly. Because I know the K never had that issue with the, with the K. I wonder if we will do that. I don't know. Maybe I might. If I do that, then I'll just put another layer of lids over the top and that should be alright then yeah maybe I'll give that another go we might be able to fix the K and fix the M in it while it's melting alright okay well I'll give that another go and we'll and we'll show you what it's like alright so today after Learning how it, it look, it's come out pretty good. Yeah, there's only a few issues with it. Okay, the the K pretty much looks like it's all been uh, cleaned up, except for the one little spot there. All right. The the love heart, it's uh, looks quite good actually. That one didn't really have an issue anyway. Oh okay. no. Uh, we have the M. The M's got an issue right here. Okay, it did have that issue before and had a little tiny one here. But anyway, hasn't, fi hasn't fixed that. But it's pretty much fixed the K. And the only other thing is I did put more uh, plastic in here just to make it a little bit more sturdier so it won't rock as much but <clears throat> me doing that we've got these um, I think that's probably due to the container itself because I have done other bits of plastic before and it has done the same thing so due to the container I reckon but then anyway, all we really are wanting is just the um, the KV the K love heart and the M so that's come up quite good but anyway, to, re to really do it justice probably what you should do is um, make your um, make your letters for example make it a lot um, make it thicker like I did with the M that way you could to clean it up you just need to um, face the surface here or plane the surface then you'd get a nice clean um, that way I mean you'd be able to take out the, um, the little holes if there are any in, in the work when you other than that that come up quite good maybe what I'll do is I'll just cut it along here and there and put it on a put it on a base base plate 
And there you go. Well, anyway, the proof of concept worked, worked quite well. Yes. I didn't mind that, actually. You can't, you can't, you can't see the, um, those little, um, you can't see these ones, the little remnants of that. Last time I showed you when you had a, had a look, you could see where I'd put those in. So that's all gone. Quite happy about that, actually. Yeah, a little annoyed that I hadn't, fi hadn't fixed the, um, the M, but yes, maybe a lot longer in the oven. I probably had it in the oven probably about two hours. Two hours and it didn't fix it. Maybe the way I have to fix it is if I actually cut the um, cut the M right here. And let the um, let this what let the white HDP flow into the uh, cavity and fill the hole. Other than that, other than that, it turned out quite quite alright. Well, anyway, proof of concept works quite well. What's that? It's no, nothing, nothing much. Well, anyway, there you go. See ya.